Are you there? I am really not feeling this 5G, man. It's like uh, I'm, it's, it's like when I turned this corner, it's like my whole phone just went to crap. Like, uh, so I had, to, I had to go in there and actually uh, manually change it from 5G to 4G so I can at least get a couple of bars uh-huh. in this backwoods area that I'm at. Right. So, That's annoying. I know, right? So, listen, uh-huh. listen, man. Um, there, there's just way... Like you said before, there's just way too much uh, misinformation, uh, fake, um, fake. What do you call it? Fake. Um, what, what do you What do you call it, Ali? Fake what? Well, some people are calling it, you know, fake concerns. Fake concerns. Thank you. Um, yeah. yeah. Fake concerns. Uh, cloud chasing. Whatever you want to call it, yeah. just to just just to get the attention. And ninety, I'm going to say ninety percent of it on TikTok is 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 fake, man. It's just that the people now considering like how when we had our conversation before, like TikTok was a thing for us to come together to be entertained and all like that. But now it's uh-huh. it, now it's like it's it's a place for. You know, let me let me just go ahead and you know fake you know throw the fake concerns and and this that and the third so I can start getting you know views and comments and stuff like that, man. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And it's yeah. I don't understand it. And then Gear Grinders' uh, situation for her to for her to come back and 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 come back at. You know the mama trucker with the venom. I I don't understand it. I I, I I'm 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 confused. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm really am it's, confused. So anyway, I got my hair cut short, but this video is for the mama trucker. I can't tag her, so I'm just gonna do it this way, and someone else can tag her. Um, I took a week off this app to get away from the drama, to get away from the hate, to get away from the death threats. Just a week. I'm not your dancing monkey. I'm not required to post videos every day for you guys as amusement. So I decided to take a week off to actually have some peace and quiet. But the mama trucker, you decided, nah, you that's not okay. You decided to make multiple videos on social media implying to other people that I'm missing and in danger. I'm not missing. I, I know exactly where I am. I'm in Frankenmuth, Michigan right now, trying to enjoy a nice meal with my mother, but I can't. First, you called my phone repeatedly, sending me text messages, harassing me. You had just had me blocked and unblocked me so you could make those videos tagging me to pretend that you give a shit. Yeah, you're fake. But then also, once you can't get a hold of me on the phone with the messages, then you decided to send police to my mother's house when I wasn't even in the same state as her. Eight police officers with guns drawn showed up to her house where a man that has dementia and is armed didn't know what was going on, where somebody could have been shot. Then you keep making more videos. Ultimately then, now you're stalking my mother. I am my mother just got a phone call from you harassing her. It is none of your goddamn business where I am. It is none of your business anything. Why are you harassing my mother now? So you harass my stepdad, you're harassing my mother, you're harassing me. This is my only warning to you. If you ever make another video about me, if you ever even say my name, I am calling the FBI, which I already have to confirm what you did is a felony, and I am pressing criminal charges against you for harassment and cyber stalking, as well as harassing and stalking now my family. Don't you ever ever post about me or talk to me ever again who's genuinely it's a, it's a defense it's a defense tactic she knows what she did was wrong but she doesn't ever accept responsibility for what she does that's wrong she can't say you know what i'm sorry i messed up i won't do it again that doesn't work for her so in order for her to defend herself she has to make it someone else's fault Mm. Which is why she says, well, the mama trucker is spreading rumors and she's doing this and she misled everybody. Mm. She this and she that. But if you look at it, a lot of the videos regarding gear grinding hyena came out before mama trucker even posted one for her. People asked mama trucker to get to get involved information because they knew she could. She wasn't trying to inject herself. 
Um, hey, so it's Sunday, and I woke up to find out that you guys are, like, super worried about gear grinding hyena. Um, I didn't know I was anybody's babysitter, and I don't mean that, like, in a shitty way. I just had no clue that was a thing that, I guess that's what I get for being mama. But anyhow, um, so I did call the police department in her town, um, for a welfare check. I have not heard back from them. Don't know if I will. Um, I have called and texted her and have not gotten a response, but I, I've tried. Um, other people have tried, so, so far we have not heard from her. Um, but we are actively trying to locate and find her and make sure she is okay. Um, I, I can't tell you any more than that because I don't know. I didn't know this was a thing in the first place. You know, she last posted four days ago and I've been doing my son's musical. Um, he's in the elementary cast for it. The high school's musical in the district he goes to um so i i don't know i have no idea but i am actively trying to make sure she's okay mama trucker even said in one of her videos was like yo i i you know i i don't understand why y'all coming at me but i guess y'all knew that i can get in contact with her and and like uh -huh. she said she she tried to come out she made the update videos Grinder, have any of you have you seen her do you have any idea where she might be? It's been five days. Five. Five. Um, so I contacted her local police department yesterday. Talked to them last night. Um, they said the last they knew she was in Florida. I have heard from other people that she's at least made it as far north as Tennessee. Um, I know she has like a, a block here on TikTok. Which, okay, great, fine, whatever. But in her last take, that is now since vanished, she was also suicidal. Uh, you know, day one, two, three, four, and five. And in those uh -huh. videos that I've seen, I I haven't seen I, I haven't seen no no discretion or anything like that. I mean, you know, uh -huh. uh, Mama Trucker reached out to a to you know the five O. A private investigator uh try to reach uh -huh. out to you know her parents her 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 people and all like that and nobody no nobody haven't had nothing for her. and you know for gear for gear grinder to come back in a video nice haircut by the way um uh -huh. for her to come back in the video like she did i i i think that was just totally wrong and and you didn't even there was no apology there was no you know no apology there was no accountability there was no thank you to the genuine people that was concerned about your health but i mean let's be honest you you left a video and in that video you were suicidal or at least you was talking suicidal thoughts over here saying yeah. that you don't know if you're going to see your next birthday. That's concerning. And then all of a sudden you went ghost. You took the video down so nobody don't know. So for the genuine people that was genuinely concerned about you, reached out to a third party that was the mama trucker, and she got involved and she didn't have to. And you uh -huh. and you came back with this venomous video talking about cyber stalking and 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 I'm I'm you know I'm missing. Yeah, you did. You was missing. You you yeah. were missing. When people can't find you, you're missing. I was on social media implying to other people that I'm missing and in danger. I'm not missing. I, I know exactly where I am. I'm in Frankenmuth, Michigan. Right? <laughs> when you threaten to harm yourself and then you go, yeah. Yeah, you're missing. I, I, I don't yeah. know. I, I don't see it no other way. When people can't find you, you're missing. So yep. by by her coming back on talking about, oh, well, I'm right here. I wasn't missing. And, and this, yes, you was. Nobody couldn't find you. But then you're going to come on. Mm -hmm. You're going to start off the video uh, well, I needed to take a break and I took a week off this app to get away from the drama to get away from the hate to get away from the death threats Just a week. 
I'm not your dancing monkey. I needed this. But why you just didn't do that well, earlier? Well, and I here's here's another interesting mm-hmm. little nugget from that video. And hey, don't Damn. kill yourself has nothing to do with you entertaining anyone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so it's this whole complex scenario of, of there's a lot of interesting nuggets about the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the idea of she's coming back with venom instead of whoa, I didn't realize so many people were concerned. Mm-hmm. To the idea of you're cyber stalking me, I'm taking you to court. I am calling the FBI, which I already have to confirm what you did is a felony, and I am pressing criminal charges against you for harassment and cyber stalking. Mm-hmm. To the idea of that there were eight cops that came guns drawn to oh my, my mother's house. Oh my uh, god! Welfare now check. That- that was just being Don't a little. That. that that was just being a That's little. That's how it worked. That was being a little bit dramatic, gear grinder. Uh, Eight police officers with guns drawn showed up to her house where a man that has dementia and is armed didn't know what was going on, or somebody could have been shot. Just a little, because when when um, yeah, it's it's when, trying to play the, the social justice part is what it is. Right when 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 they come out to do a. A rare fair check. I really don't think. I really It'll don't. send a SWAT team. I don't think they'll send a SWAT team. I, I don't think that. I, I don't think that. I think yeah. I think they'll send an officer over to the house and just be yeah. like, and just be like, hey, you know, you okay or whatever, whatever. And then for her to yeah. come, and then for her to come out and say, you know, your father got dementia and he got a gun. Why? Yeah. Why should? Why is it? Why is someone with dementia allowed to have a gun? Yeah, exactly. you know this, and you let it. You let it persist. Why? Yeah, knowing how dangerous, acknowledging how dangerous that is. Well, like, and I, then on top of all of that, you mm-hmm. can't even. You can't even breathe a hint of a thank you for the people who were genuinely concerned. Didn't even do that, and that's yeah, and that's concerning. Because that, cause uh-huh. that's concerning to me that you, you went out your way to make this venomous video towards the the mama trucker, but yet you didn't come back and make a video of you know thanks everybody for being concerned, thanks for you know mm-hmm. thanks for looking out for me or nothing like that. No, you just came out and just you know I'm I'm directing this to the mama trucker, and then you went into your venomous rant. That, that wasn't even cool uh-huh. because, like I said, I went back to the videos and I didn't see anywhere that uh, that um, that uh, Mama Trucker said anything bad about you. Just doing what I, I hope the rest of you would do if one of us in this trucker family went missing. Um, you know, especially with the the tick that she had posted about unaliving herself. Um so, you know, I, I just, I, I don't care what any of, any of our past grievances are with anybody. Um, you know, somebody posts something like that and, and it's, it's to be taken seriously. Um, so we, we still haven't found her and I, I've talked to the private investigator. I had the welfare check sent out by her local police the other day and, and nobody knows where she's at right now. Um, I, uh-huh. so yeah that's that right there in itself is concerning and again that just brings it uh back to me as you're just clout chasing that's mm-hmm. that's what i think it is because you don't you, yeah. you you don't especially on social media and the following that you have ain't no way that you should even think about putting something out there like suicide and you don't think you ain't going to get no no, no, no backlash of support about that. That's serious. Uh-huh. Now, now, since you came back out with the venomous video towards Mama Trucker, how are we supposed to take you in the future now? Uh-huh. Well, and so let's think about that, right? So the primary problem that I have with her personally, and this is, this is my own thing, is that is when she takes serious issues like that and she plays with them like they're toys. Mm-hmm like suicide or like assault or the dangers it's uh on the road or for take, truckers in general let alone 
or female taking, truckers. Or taking people to court. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. And that's the whole thing is that you're playing with these serious issues like they're toys. But they're not toys to everybody. There's a lot of people out there that will take that and they will use that to harm themselves. Mm -hmm. They will internalize that. They will personalize those issues and she doesn't care. There's no accountability. There's no acknowledgement. And then when it actually happens to her, Mm -hmm. now all of a sudden everybody else is bad because, well, I thought you guys cared about these issues. Well, we do. We do care about these issues, but we also care about how you treated these issues in the past. Or how you treat, or how you treated the person that was honestly going out of her mm-hmm. way to make sure that you are all right, and then yet you come, mm-hmm. you 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 come back at her this way in a video. People see that's mm-hmm. why I see same thing with YouTube beefs because you know I had a few controversies and all like that. But mm-hmm. I'm like this: if I have an issue with you and all like that, bro, you got my number. You you got my mm-hmm. you got mm-hmm. my number. If you felt that way about me, you got my number. You could have called me on the back end and been like, you know, bro, I this is what I think. Yada yada yada. We could have talked it out. But no, what yeah. you do is go and make a video. So that goes to show me where you, where where this is all at. And uh-huh. if you and if you come and say that, oh no, it wasn't about this, it wasn't about that. No, yes, it was. Yes, it uh-huh. was because how however you felt about the situation with Mama Trucker, that should have been between you and Mama Trucker, not the well, and they not have the, the world of TikTok. That, yeah, yeah, they have the means to they have the means to do that on a personal basis. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's just a sad situation all the way around. And so it's going to be yeah. an interesting live tonight. The live that I plan tonight, I think it's going to be really interesting. Okay. Uh, because I know that it's going to come up. And I know that people are going to have really hard feelings about it on both sides. Mm. Well, but at the end of the day, where's the middle ground? How do we treat each other? You know, can we find a common ground that we're not going to play with serious issues like our toys? Can we find a common ground that we're going to be a little bit nicer mm-hmm. to each other? Can we find a ground, a common ground that we're going to defend each other against outside haters? Like, what, what's the middle ground here? Well, I, I'm just curious to see how this is going to play out between uh, uh, what gear grinder in the future. You know, I mean, because a lot of, like I said, a lot of her videos from, you know, from the past, the way she came, and then her situations with with the with the carriers and all like that. You know, I, I kind of, you know, I kind of, you know, I, I used to feel some kind of way about her, but after listening to her uh after listening to her her thing going on with the company i was like yeah you know i kind of uh-huh. agree with you i kind of feel for you but nah I, I i don't know how to feel now after this man because well and if you notice in those videos even you know what i noticed about those videos mm-hmm. is in all of the videos that she posts about what happened to her at variant She's using all of the legal terms. Like, she's hitting every goddamn legal term on the planet, right? Mm -hmm. She's hitting hostile work environment. She's hitting uh, in fear for my life, terrified. Mm -hmm. This person is Mm -hmm. still allowed to work. Mm -hmm. I've been retaliated against. Mm -hmm. I've, you know, all this stuff. She's hitting, she's building a legal case the entire time. And I'm like, how am I supposed to take you seriously when all you're doing is just trying to build a legal case? Mm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get I get that something awful happened, and that sucks, and I don't wish that on anybody, but how terrified really are you? And then when I call her out on it, after the video that she had posted last year saying there's no danger on the road whatsoever. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I put, I put her words up against her words, and they're complete opposites, and now, but I'm the cloud chaser. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that video. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. I think yeah. that has something to do with uh, with that young lady named Lady Driver or some shit like that. And then something happened uh-huh. to her. And I think it was all, you know, all through that. Yeah. Well, 
what it ended up happening was there was a video that went viral of a young trucker looping the seatbelt through the door and buckling it, mm-hmm. right? Which mm-hmm. a lot of people think it's just crap and whatever. But she did that to feel safe. So this, so then Rufus did a video and said, I'm just asking, but is it really that bad out there? Are you guys really that scared mm-hmm. out there? Mm-hmm. Speaking of females in general. Mm-hmm. And she did a reply to his video mm-hmm. that says, it's disgusting what these women are implying. They're implying that male drivers are terrible and that they're dangerous and I've never faced any danger on the road. There's no danger out here at all. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And women are just doing this because they're trying to uh, get put on a pedestal and because um, they want to play the victim and all this stuff, right? She went off. Oh, my God. And I called and now, her out on it at the time. And now, and, and now look at her playing the victim. That's the whole. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole thing. That's the whole reason I made this recent couple of videos with her because wow. I was like now do you see now do you understand why what you said before was not only wrong but you should apologize for it because mm-hmm. it was wrong well I guess that's the last time I, I am concerned when somebody you know decides they're going to claim to unalive themselves and still talks about that in their comments that that's an option um, you know I my grants are really burnt guys um, you know, you, you try to give a fuck about somebody even, you know, despite whatever. And, and then they turn around and shove their foot up your ass for it. So, um, I'm sorry I gave a fucking care. You know, I think it's really important before you form opinions on situations that you understand the full context of the situation. But you love to use little fractions of context to form opinions that more often than not are negative and directed at me. So let's fill in the blanks for you. The Mama Trucker was originally on the original bandwagon of people making videos or comments talking shit about me early on when I joined this app. She was one of the ones that was not very nice to me at all. Whatever, she eventually blocked me. I don't care. Anyway, you fast forward to the end of last year, whenever I went to Variant, one of the drivers that referred me to Variant let it slip that I was coming here. So she got wind of it, unblocked me, followed me, and started leaving comments on my videos about Variant and if I needed any help. So I followed her back because, oh, wow, this person was mean to me, but now they're being nice to me. Cool. So I started messaging her back and forth. One of the first things she asked me was, did I have an ambassador for the job? meaning a driver that was going to refer me. Because if you refer a driver, you get a pretty substantial si- or a referral bonus. And I know she wanted the bonus, but I already had a driver that was referring me, so I couldn't use her for that, so she'd get it, but whatever. But she was there to ask questions or let her know how things are going with the job. Um, so I thought I was starting to make a friend. And then when my truck was in the shop in Georgia, she happened to walk in while I was in the driver lounge. She saw me, yelled out my name, came running over, gave me a hug, and sat and chatted with me for a while. I had every reason to think, oh my God, I'm actually making a real life fr- friend, you know? I've devoted my entire career to the career to the point that I've cut ties with everyone except my mom and my dad. So making a real life friend is a pretty big deal to me. She made a little TikTok video that she met me and she went on her way. Imagine my surprise when I eventually posted that video showing you guys that I dealt with sexual harassment at US Express and how they grossly mishandled it and things are not good. And then she blocked me. Just blocked me on the app. I meant absolutely nothing to her that me just telling you truthfully what happened to me at my com- at this company was enough to completely delete me from her life. It hurts a lot more when you thought someone cared about you and you realize you meant nothing to them than having someone just out of the blue just hate you off the bat. Doesn't it? Then, you know, it took her several days to find out I posted that video for her to unblock me wow. to then start posting a series of videos spreading misinformation claiming I'm missing. I was never missing. I just deleted the app because, as you can see, I'm going through some serious shit. And I didn't need the drama that's on this fucking app. Not only did she spread misinformation that led to a lot of people being absolutely terrified for my well-being and me not even realizing it because I wasn't on the app, she harassed multiple people in my fucking family. So... Let me get this straight. Let me see if I understand this. You was potentially friends with the mama trucker at one point. Okay. You got that. 
But see, this is only one side of the story, Gear Grinder. One side of the story. We we don't know the full story except for the story that you're bringing out. Now, if y'all two was friends, cool. You know, y'all met. Somewhere down the trough, it kind of like broke. Don't know. But see, here's the thing. I don't believe, and from what I have saw, that she was coming, giving, spreading misinformation or anything. You came out on a TikTok video, which is no longer up, saying that you don't want to live, saying that, you know, you don't know if you're going to live to your next birthday, suicidal thoughts, and all like that. When you say stuff like that, that's concerning. Now, it wasn't like Mama Trucker was, you know, coming to your live or your TikTok or whatever, whatever. Somebody, a third party, reached out to her to let her know that, hey, you know, something's going on with Gear Grinder. And since you know of her, see if you can get a hold of her and see if she's all right. You got ghost. While she was doing, you know, her due diligence into making sure that we can, as a community, we can make sure that you're all right. So we only got one side of the story, Gear Grinder. I don't believe that Mama Trucker was spewing misinformation or anything. She was only working with the information that she got. Well, Ali, you know, obviously that's not. Ali Pants, another great conversation. Another great conversation, Indeed, as always. As always, right. another great conversation. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad I linked up with you, man, because we, we, we come together and we had some, we had some great conversations on some good ass topics. So thank you very much, man. Yeah, you bet. Well, I hope you have a great day, and if you get a chance to make my live tonight, it'll be at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So All right, no doubt, no doubt. Hopefully you can and, make it. I know it's kind of late, but. And see if you can get a mama trucker because I definitely would like to have a conversation with her. Okay, I'll drop a message and see, you know, and tell her to get in touch with you if she's interested in talking. Awesome, awesome. Well, you take it easy, Allie Pants, and thank you very much, ma'am. You bet. I'll talk to you later. Have a great night. All right, now.